<laughs> You're surprised? It tastes like roast. It tastes like roasted breadfruit. Uh huh. Yeah. It tastes like breadfruit chips. Like a plant. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Fruit. boy yes guys welcome back to your favorite 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 youtube channel out of st vincent and the grenadines question have you guys been looking for a channel where you can get natural videos like from st vincent and especially if you're living overseas and you're missing home a place where you can get see all the villages in st vincent all the beaches all the waterfalls have you been looking for a channel to give you all those things well you found the right channel this is vinci vibe plus as i said coming all the way from st vincent and the grenadines here we give you city vlogs catch and cook wild adventures in the rainforests all over st vincent and the grenadines we even go to into all the villages we do village videos so if you long to see your village and you're living overseas yes this is the place to be and this is the channel to tune into so today I'm going to give you guys a short video. I don't know how short, short as in 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I don't know. I'm just saying short video. I'm going to pick a breath with today from the tree in the backyard. I'm in the backyard right now. If you can see the plum tree behind of me, that's ripening right now. Guys, I'm still out urging you guys to come and get some plum before it's finished. I don't want to be greedy. I don't want everything to spoil. So come and get some plum. Yes, the plum tree is in the back. The breadfruit tree is right there. It's right here. And as I said, I'm in the backyard. I'm in the backyard. My mom have her tomatoes and stuff plant up there and everything right here. So I set up base right here. My cold pot is right here because I want to be looking straight down below. There should be a football match starting and it's time from now. So yes, I want to be looking that way. All right. So I'm going to pick the breadfruit. I'm going to strike up my fire and then I'm gonna show you how you can fry a breadfruit without even roasting it. You never know you can do that, right? You can. You can fry it without roasting it. Yes, guys. So if you're new to my channel, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and like up the video, guys. Like up the video, like up the video, like up the video. Leave likes on the video. That's what I wanna see. And leave comments. I love to see all those comments. Please leave the comments because I reply to every single comment. It might not be the same time, but I reply to every single comment. So without any further ado, watch me pick this breadfruit. Then we strike up the fire. Then we peel the breadfruit and then we start frying some breadfruit. So stay tuned. Look at this guys, this one is burst already. So this is our breadfruit, this is what we're gonna be frying today. All right, so let's get to it. Now that we have the breadfruit, let's get so guys, fire. we have fire. Look at that. We have fire. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the pot on the fire to take some heat all the time because I want the pot to be extremely hot when I throw in the oil okay so where's my pot oh it's down here so as you can see I washed the pot it's inside is still dripping wet I'm gonna put it make sure it have a firm base guys yeah just like that as you can see my breadfruit is over here So now I'm gonna cut this in half. I got all my stuff there. I'm gonna cut this in half. I think I will just use only half. 
Okay, so watch the process guys. I'm gonna cut it right right down here. Look at the inside. Looks green, right? This is the best breast fruit to fry without roasting. You see why I'm telling you that at the end of the video. So let's start by peeling this half. I'm gonna let everything drop here. Okay, I don't want to show you the whole process. I guess a lot of you know how to peel breadfruit by now. So I'm going to get this peel, slice, and then get back to you. So guys, here we have our pieces that we are working with. So as I can see, the oil is hot already. So let's throw it in the fire. Let me give you a closer look. Look at that. Frying on roasted breadfruit by having this spectacular view. Look at that. Check it out. Vinci by Plus. Please like up the video, like up the video, and subscribe to the video. The food is frying away, frying away, yes, and this, if you don't know, this is going to get the same coloration as if you roast it, so if you roast it, for those of you who know about bread food, because I'm not sure bread food is on every island or every country in the world, but call it bread food because it tastes like bread, you roast it, you cook it, you fry it, and as I was saying, it can be fried without roasting it but roasting it then frying it that's the way we all grew up seeing our four parents did our grandparents our mom or our dad yes that's the way we saw them doing it but i found out a couple years back you don't have to roast it you can just fry it just like that and with it it will taste just the same just the same so this is gonna get, gonna get the same coloration it's gonna be yellow when it's finished frying and then you can partake uh, in the meantime, let me just pick a plum and uh, looks like everything here is green. Oh, I see one. Yeah, I got one. It's coming, it's coming. coming guys it's coming all right stay tuned when these are finished then you will see me again yeah boy guys look at that look at that incredible right i told you so we have the first set out already and we have a second batch in we have a couple more pieces remaining i told you it's gonna be looking the same as if you roast it 
the only thing left now is when everything is finished to put some salt in it and to taste it it's up to you guys if you're doing this at home it's up to you what you want to put on it on it if you want to put salt if you want to put ketchup if you want to put some ranch dressing whatever you want to put the choice is yours but look at that looking marvelous right and looking over our beautiful view down in Kyoto News and this is smelling so delicious I feel like eating it but I'm not gonna yield temptation I'm gonna wait until everything is finished and I'm gonna try and get um, even my brother or my sister-in-law or somebody to taste it and give you the review guys so stay tuned and don't go anywhere and please like up the video like up the video like up the video and share the video comment share and most definitely subscribe to the video and the channel okay all right so guys look at that everything is finished 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 taste test will be up in a minute but i got some corn instead of the fire still there i have some corn instead of wasting the fire i'm gonna roast the corns so i still have half of breadfruit there half is still remaining so i'm just gonna put that aside and let's go over here roast corn one there wow very hot very hot these corns are sweet i brought them from work just the other day i think yesterday or two days ago something like that and i forgot that i had them so instead of wasting the fire i'm gonna have me some roast corn and, and fry breadfruit look at that guys wonderful wonderful and just like that guys we have roast corn three and a quarter piece of roast corn guys when you're roasting corn you don't have to burn the corn the corn just need just need a little scorching and that's it some people like their corn like this like this part of the corn some people like it like this but these are finished these are finished you can just leave it let it get a little heat and that's it these are finished done so we have corn we have our breadfruit over there all right so stay tuned and see when everything is being consumed guys don't forget to subscribe like share comment and like up the video guys come on i'm giving you good content for you to like the video and subscribe Peace. so guys i guess we are all alone we have nobody for a taste test my wife took peace already but she's gone she's not feeling so well so I guess we're all alone. Salt. You don't want to put a lot of salt. You don't want too much. So you sprinkle it like this. That's good. Now for the ultimate taste. Guys, I'm telling you, if you taste this right now, ah, as I said before, for you guys who are accustomed to breadfruit, if you taste this, it will taste just like a breadfruit that was roasted. But the only thing is, it don't have the smoky, smoky flavor. That's the only way you will know it wasn't roasted. But apart from that, you can't tell. Mmm. Oh. I need help, guys. I need you, man, bro. Come and help me with some breadfruit. You want to spit? Did he spit? Monica James, the lady who's always calling me greedy. I can't go. Oh. To all my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing.
Come and get some breadfruit. Come and get some plums. I gotta sit. What a day. As you guys notice, breadfruit tree is right here. I picked the breadfruit and I prepared it right in the backyard. And now I'm just enjoying what I prepared. The carrot news in the background. And the evening is very quiet, very quiet. Let's check the corn. Corn also sweet. Fried breadfruit without roasting. So yes guys, as I was about to end the video, I was saying that I didn't have anybody to do a taste test. But I'm also now my brother's wife and two other ladies up there, they want to do the taste test. So that's where we are going. They're gonna tell you how the breadfruit is tasting without being roast. So stay tuned, see us up there. All right guys, we have three participants right here. They're gonna taste, they're gonna give their honest review. Okay, guys, introduce yourself. My name is Shawnee Frost, I'm from Belay. Mm -hmm. I am Ashaka, I'm from Belay. I'm Shelly Ann, and I'm from Barley. All right, so here we have the breadfruit in front of you that was fried without roasting. So pick any piece of your choice and let the people know how it stays in. Honest review. Mm. Don't, this looks type, good. don't type for your conscience. This looks good. <laughs> You're surprised? It tastes like, it tastes like <laughs> roasted breadfruit. Uh huh. Yeah. It tastes like breadfruit trips. Like a plant. Yeah, that, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah. Wow. Right. And with the prickle of salt on it, it tastes so good. It's lovely. I'm gonna try this, guys. So you I'm never, you never knew you could do it like I that, never, right? I never knew you could do no. it like this. But so you're just feeling the breadfruit and the young people who cannot roast breadfruit don't waste any time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this tastes so good. No, but if it's half ripe, it's good to roast it first. Okay. It's gonna oh. taste the same if you fry it, but you need a smoky flavor, you know? Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, the smoky flavor. This is good. It's lovely. Oh. Thanks. See, she's she's picking another piece again. <laughs> it's lovely. It's lovely. Yeah. Have another piece if for choice. Wow. Guys, you definitely need to try this. It is very good. All right, guys, there you have it. So you see, I'm not telling any lies. Three first-time persons. Well, um, Shelly is not a, it's custom to my videos, but two newcomers, and they're giving you the honest it's lovely, review. It's lovely. It's lovely. They're not telling any lies. They're not mm -hmm. telling lies. Look at it. Mm -hmm. Lovely. So, guys, you know what to do. Like. Comment, share, and subscribe. All right. Uh, see you in the next one. Peace out. So you know what to do. You like, subscribe, and share. Comment. All right. Bye. All right, guys. Peace out. See you in the next one.